previously on Entrepreneurship 101 featuring David Chance. People need to know that you like what they like and you can create a movement based on liking what other people like. People will follow you and you can start a movement based on believing what other people believe. Number three, I struggle how you struggle. We can create a movement behind struggling. Would you agree? So I want you to identify who you're talking to, your demographic, that's race, age, geographic location or whatever. But you can also identify people based on a psychographic, which is a thought process. Do we think the same? Do we feel the same? Is there a particular personality that you're marketing to? I want you to one, identify who you're talking to, find out what they like. So once you identify who you're talking to, I need you to find out what they like and what they don't like. Do you like broccoli ice cream? I need you to find out what they're into. What are their interests, okay? If you're gonna create a movement based around a product, service, whatever your entrepreneurial effort is, if you're going to build this movement, I need you to find out, one, who is the people who believe what you believe or hate what you hate or like what you like? Number three, find out what you want them to do. What do you want these people to do? Martin Luther King would say something like, because Coca-Cola and Wonder Bread are not hiring African-Americans, we are not going to drink Coca-Cola, we are not going to eat Wonder Bread. Genius stuff, right? Create a movement based on the activity we wanted people to do. Based off my brand, Sleep is for Suckers, I wanted to create phrases and ideas and images that would identify to entrepreneurs, but I didn't want to spell out exactly what the shirts mean. I wanted to leave it kind of ambiguous for a couple of the designs and sometimes our designs are just a scene and I want you to create the scene I want you to be able to tell your own message or you tell your own definition of what this thing is going to be that's what I want people to do I want people to identify with this message and to tell other people I want this message to encourage people to encourage other people so I want you to identify in your business in your industry what do you want people to do bark like a dog all right, number four, what are the roles that need to be filled? You as a speaker or an author, after you go through all these other things, you need to say to yourself, I need an editor because I can't spell. I need somebody that's going to do the administrative stuff. If we are going to create a movement, you are going to have to need a team. But before you go and find the people that you need, I want you to identify what roles need to be filled. And after you identify that, then you gotta fill the roles. Who is going to fill these roles? Who's going to be the videographer? Who's going to be the administrator? Who's going to be the booking agent? And lastly, I need you to be the example. None of this stuff works unless you are going to be the leader of a movement. If you are not going to be the leader of the movement, but there's a movement that needs to be created, you need to go find somebody who can be the leader of the movement. Now, some of my companies, my idea is to have the ideas, but somebody else be the face of it, okay? Because I know I don't have time to be the face of it per se, but I understand that in a movement, there has to be a leader, there has to be a face, there has to be uh, somebody who's pushing the envelope, pushing this message. And lastly, I need you to go to sleepisforsuckers.com. It's the only way to create a movement. How are you gonna create a movement and you're not wearing dope clothes? You know what I'm saying? Like you're not wearing really cool t-shirts. How do you expect to create a movement and you haven't read my book, Dreams Are Built Overnight, which has this thought process of creating a movement? I don't understand how you don't got the book. It's crazy, I don't, I don't get it. This jacket is hard. But you see the little, the little, um, the little fingerprint joint? What's the back say? What's the back say, Brandon? Pain fuels hope. You know what, I'ma leave it real ambiguous, okay? Like, if anybody identifies with this message, I need y'all to pick out this jacket. My man Sanchez, he sent me this jacket, and it's my new favorite jacket, okay? And of course, he's a part of Sleepless Nights. Brandon, cue the slow music. I gotta make a confession. I've heard your cries for a long time. I know you need help. I know you have an idea in your head and you're trying to turn it into something that can pay you, okay? I know you wanna leave your job. Listen, you've been sitting on this idea for the last six months and now I'm tired of it. It's time for you to come into Sleepless Nights. Come into my coaching program. Allow me to help you to win. Allow me to fill in the gaps. I care about you. I love you.
join the, join the program.